This is a 18650 battery cell. They are very popular in electronics like laptop batteries. I'm going to show you how to test such a battery, whether it's used or new. After testing you'll be able to determine the capacity of each cell, which helps you to decide if it's still usable for your purpose. Later I'll create a separate video about how to combine these cells to make a battery pack and I'll put a link here. As for equipment you'll need a voltmeter, a RC charger like the IMAX B6 and four trays to organize the batteries. I also use the IntelliCharger i4 which makes charging the cells easier. If you plan on buying the IntelliCharger i4 you should also consider the IntelliCharger D4 which has a display. You can either buy new 18650 cells or try to find used ones like in old laptop batteries. If you're using used cells then you'll need to test their voltage. If any cell shows a value below 2.5 volts then you'll need to dispose of it. Anything above 2.5 volts is possibly a good cell. I've grouped all the cells in four trays. Going from left to right, the first tray is for salvage cells which were above 2.5 volts. The second tray is for all the cells from the first tray that are fully charged. The third tray are all the cells from the second tray that are fully discharged, which shows the capacity. And the last tray are all the cells that are faulty and I need to get disposed of. Charging with the IntelliCharger is very easy. It doesn't need any setup. Just connect the power cable and insert the cells. When four cells are connected, each cell is charged with three, 375 milliamp per hour. But with two cells connected, each gets 750. When using an RC charger, you should follow the instructions in the manual. But here is an example like the IMAX P6. Connect the cell to the charger using a battery holder. From the main menu navigate to the menu for battery type LiPo and choose charge. When charging a used cell it's safer to set the charging rate low like 0.3 amps. Then set the voltage at 3.7 volts, 1S, and start the charge. In this case I press and hold the start button and confirm by pressing it again. After fully charging the cell we are going to discharge it in order to find out the capacity. Using the same RC battery charger I choose discharge under LiPo battery and let it run. Depending on the battery capacity, this could take up to 3 hours. This is something to keep in mind when you have a lot of cells to test. When the discharge is finished, you write down the capacity on the battery in order to group them later. After testing all the cells, we group them by capacity. You can decide for yourself how you group them based on the capacities and how you want to use them. You can also order new cells which you can test exactly the same way. I'm going to create a comparison video between three types of battery cells later. I'm going to use my top 10 cells on a battery pack for my electric longboard. For this I'll use a BMS, a battery management system. I'll create a separate video about this later. I'll also create a video about making a 5S battery pack without BMS in order to charge it using an RC charger.